Well, the moratorium on evictions has expired as of August 1st, and now millions of Americans face eviction. Millions of Americans have unpaid rent or they're late on their rent. They have back rent owed, and now there's no more federal protections for them. Yes, there is money being allocated at the state level sent by the federal government, but yet not all of that money has been used. In fact, just a small portion of that money has been used. So additional action was necessary, and we knew that additional action would be necessary. Back when the moratorium on evictions was extended to July 31st, at the end of June, we knew, okay, that's 30 more days to act. Something has to be done. But yet, People in power in the Democratic Party leadership, they didn't take the appropriate action. Biden's administration did nothing. The CDC did nothing. Uh, Congress did next to nothing. And now we are facing a crisis of epic proportions that is going to leave millions of people without homes. So having been unhoused before Cori Bush is drawing attention to this issue by sleeping on the steps of the Capitol. And what she's doing is really, really important here because this is a PR nightmare for the president. It's a PR nightmare for individuals like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and Democratic Party leadership who knew that this day was coming, but yet didn't take it seriously, didn't act with the urgency needed to take things seriously. And so the question is, what needs to be done to extend the moratorium on evictions and who has the authority to do it? And currently, all of the members of Democratic Party leadership are pointing towards each other and saying, well, no, you have to act. And then the other will respond saying, no, you have to act. And I wish I were kidding about this, but this is actually what's happening. First, Biden's press secretary says that the president supported the CDC extending the eviction moratorium. But then three days before the latest eviction moratorium was set to expire, Biden's administration then tried to pass the buck to Congress while doing absolutely nothing themselves. Meanwhile, Speaker Pelosi is calling on Biden to extend the eviction ban, implying that he has the authority to take the action that's necessary to stop this crisis. But while the White House says it's, quote, unable to find a way to extend the eviction ban after previously saying that the CDC should just do it, well, Biden's administration insisted again that it just doesn't have the legal authority needed to extend the moratorium on evictions. And after sharing all of these headlines, Jordan Ull points out, incredible leadership on display here. And mind you, this back and forth has continued for days now. There's no action. But the fact that they're scrambling in and of itself speaks to the success of Cori Bush's pressure campaign. Because the spotlight's on Joe Biden and Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and now they don't like that the heat is on them. And it doesn't help, especially when it comes to Nancy Pelosi for, for the optics, you know, there, that the House is going to be on a recess for six weeks. They're not reconvening until September 20th. So right before this crisis started that you knew was coming, you all left and you didn't take meaningful action to stop it. And now... You're trying to point the finger at, you know, one person and the other person. And we'll get to who I think is actually ultimately at blame here. But to speak to this back and forth, Nancy Pelosi and members of House Democratic Party leadership released a joint statement calling on the White House to extend the eviction moratorium. And now after previously supporting the idea of a CDC extension, well, now the White House is saying, mm, OK, we talked to the CDC and it doesn't necessarily seem like they can do much either. So this is per Jeff Stein of the Washington Post, Biden asked CDC on Sunday to consider 30-day eviction moratorium where COVID is rampant, but CDC director and her team have been unable to find legal authority for a new targeted eviction moratorium, White House pushing states and cities to speed up the spending of the money that was sent to them. So the Supreme Court ruled that the CDC doesn't have the legal authority to impose these moratoriums, so the Biden administration talked to the CDC director and said, can you find a more narrow eviction moratorium on areas hit the worst by COVID-19. And, you know, Rochelle Walensky said, we, we just don't have the legal authority to do that. Um, now, meanwhile, while Biden and Pelosi are pointing the fingers at each other, the vice president weighed in and uh, she was asked why the administration won't extend the eviction moratorium administratively, as House Democrats say they can do. And then she responded saying, it's an important issue, very important issue, she said to me in the Senate, referring to CNN reporter Manu Raju. Well, thank you so much for this bold statement, Madam Vice President. Without your leadership, without your courage here, I don't think anyone would know what to do. So I'm so glad that you chimed in to tell us what we already know, that this is very important. I mean, this just it is so bad for Democrats. 
And again, I want to remind you that they knew this day was coming, but yet they're scrambling currently because finally somebody, Cori Bush, decided to hold their feet to the fire and draw attention to this is issue. We are facing one of the most serious crises in the history of the United States where millions of people are about to be evicted from their homes and those of you in power who were elected, you, you don't know what to do. So in terms of like who actually is to blame, my answer is all of them. They're all to blame. Joe Biden, the CDC, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, everyone with power who's in leadership is to blame. And it's because they should be doing everything they can right now to stop this crisis. So let me tell you what I would have done in this situation. As president, I would have directed the CDC to extend the moratorium on evictions, regardless of what the courts had to say before. And then that sets up a legal challenge. Of course, they're going to strike it down, but that buys you a little bit of time. You tell them to extend the moratorium on evictions and you do what you can uh, via executive order to also maybe embolden the CDC here. And on top of that, while that's happening, the House has to take action to extend it legislatively through Congress as well. So all of these things can be done simultaneously. You can also do uh, everything in your power to assist states in being more efficient at getting out these funds because a lot of them they received this money and there was no like existing system that they had set up so they're trying to create the infrastructure to distribute the money that they got from the federal government to people to stop you know them from getting evicted and they're kind of left scrambling because they don't know what to do so we need more time currently is the issue and it doesn't matter that the cdc is going to get struck down in the courts if they ex you know extend this eviction moratorium do it anyway subvert their authority and do it anyway buy time because you, you can't just allow this to happen as congress goes on recess for six weeks and people are losing their homes. You can't allow it to happen, but they are allowing it to happen. And that's why I say they're all to blame. They're all to blame because you knew this was coming. And when we knew we had until the end of July, that still wasn't enough. But now the eviction moratorium has expired and only now they're taking it seriously. And they wouldn't have taken this seriously had Cori Bush not exerted pressure on them. Had Cori Bush not got all of the mainstream media to pay attention to what she's doing right now. So good on Cori Bush. The fact that Democratic Party leadership cannot get their act together and they're busy playing the blame game is so embarrassing. This is going to be a bad look come 2022. And they should all feel ashamed with themselves for not caring about this issue because that's exactly what the issue is here. They don't care enough. That's why they're only focusing on this now because somebody is forcing them to. So this is a huge crisis that we are now dealing with. Who knows how many people have already been evicted. It's just, it's bad.